finally I get to feature some walrus on this channel. Now I did want it to be the slow reverb. They were doing an Instagram contest. I thought for sure with my video on Frank the Sad Walrus, I would have won it. Sadly, they didn't pick me. You can be the judge for yourself. Do you think this sad little guy deserved a slow reverb? See, it's just, just heart-wrenching. But I'm still happy to feature some of this stuff because I absolutely love Walrus. I'm so happy that they've released the version 2 of what has now become a modern classic, the Julia Chorus. First and foremost, I am so happy it has top mount jacks. I've had this chorus for a while. It's the only thing in my loop for my clean tone that doesn't have top mount jacks. So it's great that it finally fits in now. Also has a soft latch switch, so there's no more of that loud click. And I think one of the biggest improvements, and some people might argue with the, me on this, is uh, the artwork has been changed. And it's now very pleasant. Before, it was a little... Ugh. Get that out of here. A couple of the things that have made this so popular and so unique, other than it just being a good-sounding chorus pedal is most chorus pedals are a 50-50 mix if you max them out, right? So you get half your dry signal from the guitar, half the chorus signal. This allows you to take it from zero to 50, which is where the C is on the blend knob, and then to a full 100% mix, which gets you more of a vibrato sound. So you can go from full dry to full wet. It's also interesting is the lag control, because what a lot of people don't really realize or think about is the chorus is a time-based effect. And the lag allows you to control that kind of time to get you different spatial sounding choruses and really get a lot of different chorus sounds out of this thing. Now, how do we use this in a metal context? This is a metal channel. Uh, personally, I've been using it the same way a ton of bands, Metallica, Dream Theater, and basically everyone else has been using it since the 80s, is I use it on my clean sound, add a little bit of shimmer, dimension, make it kind of not so flat sounding. How are some other ways we can use it? Well, I'm going to show a few ways that some metal and hard rock bands over the years have used these. Uh, and that's going to be some clean sounds, that's going to be some more overt sounds, and that's going to be some sounds with distortion. So first, I'm going to have just the intro from Corrin's Falling Away From Me. It's a pretty simple thing. It has a nice kind of warbly chorus in there, and it just adds some dimension to it. Now, keeping on the 90s trend, one of the most famous chorus sounds ever was probably the uh, the riff for Come As You Are from Nirvana. And I think that this nails it pretty good. If you're talking about chorus with distortion, you have to talk about 80s metal. Hair metal, power metal, heavy metal. Those guys love to use chorus with distortion. And it added this kind of uh, metallic, almost widening effect on their guitars. Let's hear it on some Judas Priest.
Lastly, I'd be pretty remiss if I didn't mention metal and distorted guitars with chorus without mentioning Zach Wilde. Somebody known for decades for using a heavy amount of chorus with high gain distortion. There's a ton of examples I could have picked from, but I think this one highlights it pretty well. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.